Hey, what's up, man? How y'all doing, man? It's your boy, Pepe Ken, man. You like to say the beautiful me, my man, you know, feel more slim. You know, like he was saying, man, we was talking about the movie, The Mac, man. Hey, man, you know, I told y'all my one of the first chapters of my book is first, first, ass, last. So what that means, you know, if a bitch takes your ass, she got to pay your ransom. Bitch got to suck to your pocket like a rocket. You know what I'm saying? If a bitch can't give you no assistance, she got to keep her distance. If she ain't paying, I ain't playing. You dig what I'm saying? Hey, man, I got to meet on my Peter long as bitch stayed, as long as she had to pay. So it's a scene that I feel feel more to talk about in the map. Uh, can you give us that scene again when you talk about Oh, the it? scene, I look like in the map. You know, well, you know, well, KC got out and was whooping the, the hole with his hat. Pimp don't whoop no hole with his garments. Okay, pimp whoop a hole with his mind. Yeah, and uh, you said uh, with Pretty Tony. Uh, and, and yeah, about the game, you know, when she walked in there and said, I choose you, baby. With no money shown, you know, Pretty Tony was in his right when he said, you're a shade tree pimp, nigga. You ain't no pimp. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, exactly. yeah, he was in his rights, man. Because she didn't, have, she didn't choose him with no money. They were talking about the material thing, about what the car costs. That wasn't no pimping, man. Yeah, so you know. That's like, why I didn't want to be in the Mac. Yeah, they offered him to be in the Mac. That's yeah. why I always tell you, man, like, look here, man. Hey, man, don't never let your little head beat your big head, man. You can't be tender under the zipper. You dig what I'm That's saying? Right. Say, man, ain't no bitch gonna respect you that you put your dick in the bitch, you know what I'm saying, man? You ain't got no money. Because, first of all, she gonna feel that if you're doing that to her, you're gonna do it to other bitches. That's so, you right. know what I'm saying? It's very important. And I ain't telling you to pimp, but I'm just telling you the rule in my book, First, First, Ass, Last. The reason why we came up with it. Back in the day, many, many years ago when I was in the game, it's because every time, you know, a nigga would date a bitch or a nigga would fuck a bitch on the first date but not get no money, then the bitches, you understand me, well, so-and-so did that. You know, so why I can't have sex with you? So now that makes my job hard. I got to explain to this bitch, you know, the value of my dick. Hey, bitch, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> my dick ain't free, bitch. You know what I'm saying? I don't do nothing for free. That's how my sister got pregnant. You dig what I'm saying? Yeah, come and on. she got them kids to take care of, and that shit ain't free. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, it's very important. And I got it from the Godfather himself, you know. And I told him, man, I've been watching the Max since 19, I, I think I seen it, well, come on, 71. Right, in the 70s. Yeah, I, I watched it. I was, it was in the 70s. I was a kid. I was watching. I never knew that the nigga never got no money that you couldn't, you know, he said, why, yeah, he said, you're a shade tree nigga. You know what I'm saying? And Mac Julie, my man, but. Pretty Tony was right, nigga. You ain't no pimp. You a shade too, nigga. You know what I'm right. saying? And then he said, hey, can you afford that? 35, 35, 35, 35, 35. Yeah. But it wasn't no, hey, the bitch didn't buy the car. You know what I'm saying? And I, and, and I got, I never, that's crazy because mm -hmm. all these years, man, yeah. I've been watching this movie, man. Yeah. And I never knew that. And that's why I'm saying, man, my, my daddy used to always say, feel more. That, you know, you graduate from every every school. There's one school you never graduated from. That's mm -hmm. the University of Life. That's right. You know what I'm saying? So so I'm I'm here, I am, you know, 60 years old. Many, many years ago, seen the movie damn near 45 years ago, maybe 47 years ago, and I never noticed that he never got the trap. That's right. With no In monster. first, first ass last. That's right. You know, also, man, you know, uh, I just want to give a shout out to Fillmore, man. We, we Y'all going to see... The interview, but this is a prelude, you know what I'm saying? So, y'all want to watch the field interview, y'all go to hhlmag.com and y'all can check us out. Peace. Peace and hair grease. The block list, that's it, that pussy trash. I'm for the hip hop fraternity award, and I should win because who hotter than me? <laughs> so, anyways, I, I would get it from him, and so he started fronting me. Started fronting me a half a key, and then it moved on up to a key, and then I started buying. Yeah, I started multiple buying keys. then, yeah, but he couldn't keep so, up. So before we get to the multiple keys, did you break the, the, the half a key down in dimes and nicks? Twins. Twins. How Twin, much, how much you twins. get off a of half a key? So, I think I would make probably close to 20. 20? Green. Off a half a key? I think, because, I think I bagged because, up a half because a key. Because late at night. I bagged up a half a key, gave it to my little niggas one time. <laughs> I think I made about 40. You, know, but you, got, you got to remember. Oh, yeah. Milwaukee is, you know, you can give yeah. them, them white crack the crackheads on the south side. You get them a little bitty dime. Oh, uh, yeah. Now, yeah. If, you're going to, if you're going to the east side, where I was from, I never sold, and, and most of y'all know this, y'all know 
Those who know me know when I was in my hustle that I would never sell work to the black folks. I would always take it to the white side of the neighborhood. The white, it's so the white, yeah, it's sell to the Mexicans and the whites. And but I was getting way more money than them. So yeah. they might get, like you say, about 20, I was getting a big bag. Oh, yeah. Well, but see, how I, how I um, stay ahead of everyone, say the 20s. You could take my twenty and make eighty dollars off of it. See, you was you was my competition. <laughs> I would see. Hey, I ain't fucking with you. Yeah, I, 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 I you, you ran me out the block. I see saying, why you sell a crow. But they, the best I'm you selling half of the block. Hey, when the Mexicans <laughs> found out, they used to call me. Uh, okay, I probably shouldn't say that, but when the Mexicans, when I was over there on the south side, the Mexicans, they would they would double the the, the pack. Uh -huh. But what we would do. Is my niggas, you know, they was game bangers. They'd shoot the Mexican house up. <laughs> and then they'd close their spot down. They closed their spot down. We had uh, Chloe and a few more crackheads. They didn't let everybody know this is the new spot. You know, that was the only way I could people. So with that kind of work, right, I mean, did you have stash spots and shit? You know, because... Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I had the... I call, I call them my uh, baby houses. <laughs> but it'd be apartments. But that's where my... Don't live. I didn't live there. Yeah. You know, I just yeah. go and you know bag. So you had more than one spot with that yeah. kind of work. You had the you I had, had, the, you had the certain one. side of town so that so that. I had on the south side with the white people. So yeah, <laughs> <laughs> I'm telling you, man, you sound the word. You got you got a decent father. I got a decent father. Hey, we got too much shit in common. But uh, I'm so, your sister. Yeah, you my sister for real, for real. So so so. You, you got all these spots on the south side. You busting down a brick at a time, right? Mm-hmm. You know, that's got to be a lot of work. That's a, I mean, that razor blade had to be busy, huh? Yeah, and then I went and got me a gold razor blade. I bought a 14 karat gold razor oh, you blade. Was just feeling yeah. it, huh? Okay. Like you, yeah. You, you, <laughs> pain pain this hey, you can sell all the stuff. <laughs> so, yeah. So, they... Um, yeah, that it, it became a lot, and I learned that from from one of my um, one of my cousins. He was an old, older man, and uh, he had took me in and one of my other cousins under his wing to teach us, you know, because he was already in the street. So we would sit and break down a key, and then take plastic. He wanted us to take plastic, roll it up in the plastic, mm -hmm. and then burn it. So that, you know, the crackheads can't taste it, they can't mm -hmm. do nothing. Right. We did that all night long. And uh, then he would pay us like $300. Mm -hmm. I quit, you know, I quit. And <laughs> so, but I learned, I, I, I learned how to do stuff like that. But uh, I didn't always break it down. Um, when, I, when I had multiple keys, I would sell ounces, you know, zones. Okay, but so like, I didn't sell. So what do a Perion trap look like? Cause like when I was trapping, right, I would have my guys. You know, we would uh, take one of the doors. And we would have these like steel cages and shit, and we had people at the door. So I would have all the fiends in the house because because it was too much traffic. There was a lot of people selling dope on the house. You trap them in the house. Now, now we have them all in the house, yeah. but we had the, the the dude, my man Teddy, that was hustling. He'd be behind the gate. And he had a bunch of acid right there. You know what I'm saying? I mean, so that's how we ran our spots and we had, you know, crackheads outside. How, how did you run? I had, we'll do a I, had I had a I had a cutlass. I had a uh, 77 cutlass and I had the floor uh, cut. Mm -hmm. And it had a canister so it had acid in it. Oh, okay. And so like if the police got behind us, we just dropped Drop it in, in there. there. Yeah. And at first it was just a hole, we just drop it. But then they would blow back their own ass. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so we had to come up with something different. But I, I didn't never really have to use it like that. Uh, but no, um, we wouldn't elaborate like you. But we would have like the iron doors, mm -hmm. you know, like the screen doors be mm -hmm. the iron door. We'll take that center part out. I take this center part out and people come and we just, yeah, they you know, put the ready? money in, got raided. Yes, and I, I had sent my boys, they went to um, to the movies, 
And I said, well, I'm just still here. I'm so tired. I don't even feel like going home. Because my home was still with my mama. Mm -hmm. Even though I had other houses, but that's only my safe mm -hmm. haven. Yeah. And I said, oh, I don't feel like going nowhere. So I'm going to just lay here and nap. And this, this lady, she was really clean and stuff. So I was, I, you know, going to sleep on the couch and they busted up in there. And, you know, all they got was 0 0.1 gram. You know, and they gave me ten years. For you know that. what's so crazy? <laughs> in all in, in in the little brief time that I hustled, I never got raided. You know why? But, I I was so paranoid. Hello, world. It's your girl Taylor Frusell, and I'm super excited to announce that I will be the official host for the HHF and the Ugly Money Awards on April 7th in Atlanta, Georgia, you guys. That's right, I will be your official host alongside the amazing Miss Shelly. Make sure you tap in with me, get your tickets, get your VIP tables, also tap in to, with Pimpin' Ken. Big shout out, HHF, Ugly Money, let's get it. Hey y'all, it's your girl, Sweet Shelly, and I'm your hottest host for the 2024 HHF and Ugly Money Awards, baby, yes along with the beautiful miss taylor okay and we're gonna be live at the atrium in atlanta georgia mm. so i know you're wondering hey shelly how do i book to do live performances or how do i book a vip table well fear no more my darling all you have to do is call 404-790-9600 voila magic What's up, man? It's the East Side Boys. It's your boy Lil Bo. It's your boy Big Sam. Y'all already know, man. We're going to be at that war show, man, with HHF and Ugly Money. It's going down, man. Yes, sir. Be there. It's your boy Big Sam, East Side Boys, man. That's right. April 7th. I'm in the building, man. Accepting my award. HHF. Y'all all know what it is, man. The biggest award show. It's going down, man. And I'm here to stay and turn that thing out. It's Ugly Money CEO, Ugly Money Meets You. Listen, April 5th through the 7th, the Ugly Money Music Summit slash HHF Ugly Money Awards. Now, on the 7th, y'all gotta get y'all tickets because we have an award show. We're gonna be announcing the winner of the Ugly Money Music Summit and also awarding and commemorating and representing for all of the talented people, the legendary people, tons of celebrities in the building. Definitely go to the website to get your tickets today. It's that ugly money. What's going on everybody? This is Carl Thomas and I accept my award for the hip hop fraternity from my man Pimpin' Ken. Absolutely, Kenneth Ivey, one of the greatest to ever do it. Believe it. Hey, what it do is the main man, Young LA, and it's the Hip Hop Fraternity Awards, and I will be performing April 2024. I'm gonna have that stuff on from the um, head to the floor, so you might wanna be there and be spoiled. You already know, Young LA, I accept. This your boy, Juve the Great, and look, I accept my I accept my award, because I'm winning this one for the Hip Hop Fraternity with my dog, Pimp and Ken. We go way back, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Juve. Hey, man, I accept my award from the yeah, hip hop return, you know what I'm saying? Like, Super Scream now. Shout out to Pim and Ken, you know what I'm talking about? All the way up, no stops, Jack. You feel me? Sit down before I get in here, motherfucker. What's going on, man? Hey, hip hop fraternity is going down, man. The Red Sun, we in the building. We up. Hey, 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 what's happening? It's your boy, The Red Deshaun, and I formally accept my nomination for the Hip Hop Fraternity Award. Yeah! Yeah, this your boy, Bread When It Came. I will be performing at the Hip Hop Fraternity Awards 2024. Salute to my bro, Pimpin' Ken. Yeah! See, Pimpin' Ken was in here earlier, and he put the pimp spirit in the air. Give me, give me some gangsta shit. Let's go get the book when it come out. I'm out of best book in the country. Best seller book in the country, period. Right. This book right here, Pimpin' Ken laid it on me. My God. <laughs> Cross the tracks, man. Now, now, let's talk about this book. And Ken is the homie. He's he a legend. He a legend. I fuck with Ken Steve-O. Uh -huh. They came to me with, you know, Simon Schuster. This is your boy, Pimpin' Ken, man. I want y'all to go get my new book, The 48 Laws of the Game, Pimpology, man. This is the book that everybody is reading. They love it in the prisons and selling all over the world. Everything that your father, your uncle didn't teach you, this book will. This will give you a whole lot of game. And it's for men and women. And if you want to be a winner, go get my other book, The Art of Human Chess. 
It's a bestseller. Both of my books are bestsellers. And if you want to get the book, just go to thehiphopattorney.com. Go to the link, books, and hit the word, hit book. If that don't work for you, go to amazon.com. If that don't work, go to audible.com. Type in my name, Pippin Ken. I guarantee you that the book will pop up. And just order the book. We got the audio book. We got the hardcover. We got the paperback. Anything you need, just go to any one of those platforms. Barnes & Noble's Books A Million and get the book.